welcome. We wish you a happy and blessed Ramadan. Today we'll crochet a Ramadan lantern keychain. So let's get started. But before we begin we'd like to remind you, if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel. You can click the subscribe button now. And if you are already subscribed make sure to activate notifications by clicking the bell. The yarn we will use is Ollie's Cotton Gold, and we will use a size 3 hook. If you wanted to buy any crochet tools online from any country, you will find the link in the description. We'll start the lantern from the top. We'll start with 3 chains, 1, 2, 3. Then we join the first chain with the last one. And finish with a slip stitch. Now we form the ring which will be the base for the next rounds to form the lantern shape. So we've started with 3 chains, and now we'll start the first round with a chain. We will do one single crochet stitch in each of the 3 chains. So the first round will be 3 single crochets. Now this is the second stitch. And a third single crochet in the third stitch. Then we finish the round where we started with a slip stitch. Now we'll chain 1 to start the second round. And I'll put a stitch marker here to know where we start and finish the round. So 3 stitches in the first round. In the second round we'll do 2 single crochets in the same stitch. This is the first stitch in the second round. And 1 single crochet in the second stitch. Then 2 single crochets in the third stitch. And we join the round where we did the first chain with a slip stitch. So again, in the second round we did 2 single crochets in the first stitch. And 1 single crochet in the second stitch. Then we did 2 single crochets in the third stitch, so now we have 5 stitches in the second round. Now we will change the color and start the third round. I chose the yellow. And we will start the round with 1 chain. So we have 5 stitches in this round, we'll do 2 single crochets in the first stitch. And 1 single crochet in the second stitch. Also 1 single crochet in the third stitch. So we did individual stitches more than the previous round. First stitch was an increase, 2 single crochets in the same stitch and then one single crochet in each of the next two stitches. The next stitch will be an increase, two single crochets in the same stitch. Now we worked on four stitches, and we will do one single crochet in the last stitch. Then we finish the round with a slip stitch. So we started the third round with an increase then 2 individual stitches then an increase. And the last stitch was individual. Now we will start the fourth round with a chain and we'll change the color. The pattern is the same as the previous round but we'll do one more individual stitch. So in the first stitch we'll make an increase, 2 single crochets in the same stitch. And then we will do 3 individual stitches. 1 2 3 So here we did 2 single crochets in the first stitch. And then we did 3 individual stitches, 1 single crochet in each stitch. After the 3 individual stitches we do an increase. And the last two stitches in this round will be individual.
one single crochet in each stitch, and we finish the round with a slip stitch. So we started the first round with an increase, two single crochets in the first stitch. Then we did three individual stitches and an increase, and the last two stitches were individual. Now we'll start the fifth round and we'll also change the color. We'll start the round with a chain. In the first stitch we'll make an increase, two single crochets in the same stitch. In the fourth round we did three individual stitches after the increase. But in the fifth round we'll do one more individual stitch, so we'll have four individual stitches. One. Two. Three. Four. After the four individual stitches we'll do an increase, two single crochets in the same stitch. And the last three stitches will be individual stitches. So in this round we did two increases, we started the round with an increase then four individual stitches. And then an increase and then three individual stitches. And we finish the round with a slip stitch. The top part of the lantern is almost done, now we'll start the sixth round with a new color. We start with a chain. Same as the previous round, we'll start with an increase, two single crochets in the first stitch. In the last round we did four individual stitches, in this round there will be five individual stitches. We'll do five individual stitches after the increase. One, two, three. I'm weaving the extra strand in my work. Five, one, two, three, four, five. After the five individual stitches, we'll do another increase, two single crochets in the same stitch. And the rest of stitches in this round will be individual. One, two, three, four. And finish the round with a slip stitch. Now we'll start the seventh round with a new color. We'll start with a chain. The first stitch will be an increase, two single crochets in the same stitch. And we'll do six individual stitches in this round. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. And after these six individual stitches we'll do an increase, two single crochets in the same stitch. And the rest of stitches will be individual. Two. Three, four, five, and finish the round with a slip stitch. Now the top part of the lantern is completed. We'll now work on the middle part and I'll choose the yellow color for it. Now we'll start the first row in the middle part. And we'll work in the inner loop of the last row stitches, as we can see each stitch has two loops. What we usually do in our work is that we go through both loops like so. But now we'll go into the inner loop only, and we'll skip the outer loop. And we'll start the round with a chain. Notice that I'm weaving the extra strand in my work to get a neat finish. 
Then we go into the inner loop of the first stitch like so as we see. We skip the outer loop and insert the hook into the inner loop only. We'll make an increase in the first stitch, two single crochets in the same stitch. And to the next one, notice we insert the hook into the inner loop only. We're not going into both loops as we usually do, we go into the inner loop only. Now we go into the inner loop of the next stitch and do one single crochet. And then another single crochet in the inner loop of the next stitch. The third stitch will be an individual as well. So an increase at the beginning then three individual stitches, one single crochet in each of them. We'll repeat the sequence, and increase in the next stitch then 3 individual stitches. Make sure you skip the outer loops and go into the inner loops only. Now we did 3 individual stitches and an increase so we'll do another 3 individual stitches. 1, 2, 3, and the next stitch will be an increase. This is the sequence we'll follow for the first and second rounds in the middle part of the lantern. But only in the first row of the middle part we'll go into the inner loops of the last row in the top part. So we continue the first round the same way, first we do an increase. Then 3 individual stitches and then another increase then 3 individual stitches and so on until we get to the end of the round. Making sure we go into the inner loops for each stitch. And we join the round at the chain where we started it. As we see here we skip the outer loops of these stitches, in this round we worked only in the inner loops. We'll start the second round and it'll be same pattern of the previous round. But we'll go into the whole stitch not only the inner loops. So we'll work the usual way in this round. The sequence is an increase in the first stitch, two single crochets in the same stitch, then three individual stitches and repeat until the end of the round. Now we've gotten to the end of the middle part of the lantern, and we join it with a slip stitch. We'll start the third round. Third, fourth and fifth rounds will be done the same way. We start the round with a chain, and we'll do one single crochet in each stitch. The next three rounds will be all individual stitches, one single crochet in each stitch, now we're in the third round and as we said the fourth and fifth rounds will be the same as the third. Now we've completed the last three rounds. And we did them all with individual stitches, one single crochet in each stitch. Now we'll do the sixth and seventh rounds. And we'll do decreases in these rounds, the first three stitches will be individual. 1 2 3, as we see the first 3 stitches are individual, 1 single crochet in each stitch. After the 3 individual stitches we'll make a decrease. So in the 4th stitch we'll do an incomplete single crochet. And another incomplete single crochet in the 5th stitch. And then we finish both stitches together to make a decrease. So after the chain at the beginning we did 3 individual stitches. Then we did a decrease in the 4th and 5th stitches. 
and repeat the pattern we just did, 3 individual stitches, 1, 2, 3. The next 2 stitches will be a decrease, so 1 incomplete stitch, and another incomplete stitch, then join these 2 stitches together to make a decrease. This is the sequence we'll follow in the 6th and 7th rounds. 3 individual stitches, and a decrease in the next 2 stitches. And repeat it again, 3 individual stitches and a decrease. We'll follow the same sequence for this round and the next round as well. Now we completed the 6th and 7th rounds in which we did 3 individual stitches and a decrease. Then 3 individual stitches and a decrease. Now we'll begin the 8th round and all stitches and it will be individual, one single crochet in each stitch. This is the pattern for the 8th round only. We'll finish the 8th round with a slip stitch and as we said all stitches in this round were individual. Chain 1 and start the 9th round, this round will be the last round in the yellow part of the lantern. The first 2 stitches will be individual, 1 single crochet in each stitch. Then we do a decrease, joining 2 single crochets together. And we'll repeat the sequence to the end of the round, 2 individual single crochets. And then the next 2 single crochets will be a decrease. And repeat this to the end of this round. Now we'll join the 9th round, as we see the middle part is completed. This is the top part and this is the middle part and now we'll begin the third part. And we'll use more than one color as we did in the first part. I'll use the turquoise color for the first round. Connect the new color and chain 1. I'm weaving the extra strands in my work. The first three rounds in this part will be the same count of stitches, we'll just change the color for each round. The first 3 stitches will be individual, 1 single crochet in each stitch. Then we'll make an increase in the 4th stitch, 2 single crochets in the same stitch. Then we repeat the sequence again, 3 individual stitches. And an increase in the 4th stitch, 2 single crochets in the same stitch. And continue this way to the end of the round. 3 individual stitches then an increase and so on. As we said this pattern will be done for the first 3 rounds of this part. But each round will be done in different color. As we see here, we finished the first row. Now I'll use the fuchsia color and chain 1 to start the second row. As we said it'll be the same as the first row. 3 individual stitches then an increase and 3 individual stitches then an increase. And join the second round with a slip stitch. Now for the third round and as we mentioned it's the same as the previous rounds. Connect the new color. Chain 1 and follow the same sequence. 3 individual stitches then an increase and so on. Join the third round. Now I'll use another color for the fourth and last round. Connect the new strand and chain 1. All stitches in the fourth round will be individual. So the first three rounds in this part were the same, 
3 individual stitches then an increase. The fourth round will be different, there won't be any increases in this round, all stitches will be individual. One single crochet in each stitch. Continue this way to the end of the round. Finish the round with a slip stitch and cut off the extra yarn. Now we finished this part, and we got the lantern shape. The next step is to fill the lantern with polyester fiber to maintain a solid form. And then we'll make a base to close the bottom part. I'll use the orange color for the circular part at the bottom. We'll start with 3 chains. Then we join the first stitch with the last one with a slip stitch. Chain 1 to start the first round. We'll do 2 single crochets in each of the 3 chains we started with. So 2 single crochets in the second stitch. And another 2 single crochets in the third stitch. Then finish the round with a slip stitch. So we started with 3 chains and join them with a slip stitch to form a ring. And in the first round we started with a chain then we did 2 single crochets in each of the 3 chains. The next 3 rounds will be the same, first we start the round with a chain. And then we make an increase in the first stitch. Then one single crochet in the second stitch. And repeat again, an increase, two single crochets in the same stitch. Then an individual stitch, and an increase. This will be the sequence for the next three rounds, second, third and fourth rounds. Now we completed the 3 rounds, and we did all of them the same way. An increase then an individual stitch and so on. Now as we see we filled the lantern with polyester fiber. And now we'll seal the lantern with the base we just did. Adjust both parts together. Match the stitches at the last row of the lantern with the stitches at the last row of the circular part at the bottom. We'll connect the stitches going into the inner loops only. So the inner loops of the stitches in the circular part is connected to the inner loops of the stitches in the last row of the lantern. We'll connect each two opposite stitches from their inner loops only. We'll skip the outer loops, we'll work only in the inner loops. Pull through the inner loops of both stitches and also through the loop on the hook. And join both stitches together with a slip stitch. The next stitches. As we see we go into the inner loops of both stitches, we skip the outer loops. We also skip the outer loops of the circular part, then pull through both loops and the loop on the hook. Pull through the three loops like so. And finish with a slip stitch. Continue same way, going through the inner loops and skipping the outer loops, so the inner loop of the stitch and the inner loop of the opposite stitch 
and pull through both loops and through the loop on the hook as well and finish with a slip stitch. This is how we connect both parts. Continue connecting the inner loops of each opposite stitches until we're done. Connect each two opposite stitches together from the inner loops with a slip stitch. Continue the same way until all stitches are connected. Before closing the base make sure that the stuffed polyester fiber is enough. After we've put enough fiber continue connecting both parts until we get to the point where we started. And all stitches are connected together. Now we connected the circular part to the lantern and the bottom is shut. I'll use the turquoise color to make a seam row in this part. As we demonstrated at the beginning of the yellow part we worked only in the inner loops. We skipped the outer loops of the stitches in the last row of the first part. So we'll work the turquoise seam row going into these loops. Connect the yarn to start the row. We'll start with a chain. As we see, the outer loops we skipped are obvious for each stitch. The first stitch is an individual stitch. Next stitch, as we see we work in the outer loop of each stitch. So one single crochet in the second stitch. And we'll make an increase in the third stitch, two single crochets in the same stitch. And this will be the sequence for this row. As we see we work only in the outer loop for each stitch in this row. Two individual stitches and an increase in the third one. And repeat again, two individual stitches. And an increase in the third one and continue the whole row this way. Now we completed this row which we did in the outer loops of the stitches in the last row of the first part. So we did one seam row with turquoise color. The last step we'll do is to complete the face shape. So we'll attach the eyes and mouth and also we'll add the chain at the top. Now as we see we added the plastic eyes, we can use a glue gun or any other way we prefer. We also used a red yarn and a darning needle to make the mouth. And then we added the metal chain. And now we completed the keychain. If you like this video give it thumbs up and share it. And if you have any question write it in the comments. And to get all our new videos subscribe to our channel. Thank you.